Well, back again. Um, just waiting for some more lightning. And looks. If anyone hears that rattle, can someone determine if that's a rattlesnake or something else? Because people are saying it's a rattlesnake. Um, so now I gotta watch where I step because it's middle of the dark night and there's snakes with venom. <laughs> I'm normally okay with this stuff. As long as they don't have the, uh, well, deadly juice in the fangs. So. <clears throat> Only thing is I don't know why the rattlesnake's gonna be out in the open when that's about. Plus when the cold front comes through, that thing is gonna go seek shelter immediately. I know how reptiles work. That thing's not gonna be out much longer. Rain begins going crazy, it's gonna seek fucking shelter and probably go hibernate because it's not gonna get this warm again until who knows when. I want to say March. You know, Weather Channel saying we're supposed to have above average temperatures throughout the winter. But the lowest shade of above average. So we're looking at mid to upper 40s for highs. Maybe low 50s, not 70s or anything like that. May have a few days like that, but... Hold on, Steez. <coughs> but yeah. So, looks like when I go in, I'm going through the house, so I don't end up in the fucking hospital. But, I already know if I end up getting bit by one of those, I'm going to grab that shit, bring it to the hospital with me, in a container, obviously. So, I don't have to worry about the malpractice of them using the wrong anti-venom. Because <laughs> they'll have the fucking snake to get the venom from. Which is pretty smart in the long one, long run. It just, yeah. Don't have a damn snake hook. Those things are crucial around here, especially with five of the forty-two species being venomous in this area, and well, the deadly venom. There's a six species that's venomous, but they have to gum it into your damn system. And they'd only do that if you're prey. And the snake, the people on here that have, well, know well about snakes, aren't you know what that one is. That's a dang hog, hog nose. And they're venom. I mean, only if you're allergic, you have, have risk of death. Otherwise, it's just a mild infection. You probably have a little pus pocket, and that's about it. At least to my knowledge. Um, not entirely sure how that's gonna work, really. Never had dealt with venom from anything other than bugs. And even then, worst thing was a mild swelling. from some common house spiders. That's about it, really. <coughs> but. Uh, any, but anyhow, back to the storm. Away from biology and into meteorology. Which, actually, um, continuous on all that. Ooh, that was actually pretty close. Lightning and then the thunder, like, right fucking after. And it's apparently pissing off the possible rattlesnake. Which I'm thinking it's a type of cricket that's trying to imitate a rattlesnake so people won't fuck with it. I'm sure there's crickets and grasshoppers out there that do that. But anyways, um, speaking of meteorology versus biology... Um, if it weren't for meteorology, biology wouldn't evolve. Like, meteorology makes biology its bitch. Tell any of that right now. One of the main reasons people, well, life evolves is to handle what meteorology dishes out. So, biology will survive with climate change. 
It just biology ought to change its ways. Like it always does. To go with the climate that changes. So, yeah. Humans will probably be fine. If we evolve in time. We just won't look like us today. What we'll looks like something else. Probably could handle heat better. Better extremes. Things like that. Well, same with any other animal on the planet. They're either evolved to handle the course of climate change, or they will die off. Whether the climate change is caused by man or not, I say it's worth a shot to remove our influence as much as we can without causing mass die-off with people, either. Which one of the main things is to... Uh, uh, do what Elon Musk is doing and try to get people to Mars. And other planets that are habitable. Well, Mars isn't habitable. Habitable until we come to with, with the tech that make it hab habitable. Which has caused climate change to happen on there to where it gets warmer. Have it have a runaway greenhouse effect to a little bit to where it's like Earth. <coughs> That's how you're going to make that habitable. Which also makes you wonder, did we come from Venus? Like, did our ancestors that were stupid with the greenhouse effect run away, cause that to happen on Venus, and then come to Earth, they fled to Earth, and now there's life on Earth, or something like that. Makes you wonder. Because I'm not entirely sure if we know how when this Venus going all hot mode began. Because if it that happened to begin when human evolution began, the bingo. There's a cause of the runaway greenhouse effect of, um, Venus. Or whoever is, like, the creator of life, or something like that, fucked up on Venus, moved to Earth, and then we're fucking up again. And we're gonna go to Mars, and then Mars is next. I don't know. But. Makes you wonder. Now back to Mother Nature's psychoness. That's a nice lightning to the north. Too bad I'm facing the east. Let's just move her further away from the rattlesnake. Um. And go further up to here. Okay, that's not going to be a good idea leaning on some string like that. That's going to snap in and I'm going to face plant to do something. I mean, I was trying a flashlight to keep an eye out for stuff if I go out that way after the storm. Because if I see a rattlesnake and if I'm able to just decapitate the bitch, I will. I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that, but... Got animals out here. Don't need them dead. Like I mentioned earlier, we need out of this poverty bubble. And I'm going to prevent any emergencies that could have happened. Like, we need to get to the vet now for freaking anti-venom. Which, thank goodness, there's a massive cold front with this. Drive the snake underground. Tell you right now, the ones that are not venomous, I will not hesitate to pick up. 
may be crazy. That guy looked like power flashes, to be honest, but... That's east, southeast of here, and sirens are going off. I didn't get alerted of a tornado warning. And I don't need internet connection to be alerted that the SMS will stop thing, and I don't know anymore. Last time I got warned on a system was back in September for flash flood warning. I was not warned on any tornado warnings or anything like that. Just flash flood. So, looks like you need the internet for that. I missed you out! I missed out on that! Can you happen in front of the phone camera, please? That would be awesome. No back talking. <laughs> Got a little fun there. There you go. Rotate that a bit. 11 minutes in. With the, what, 8 minutes of footage that I got total before this? That's 20 minutes of footage, just about. But yeah. Definitely gonna need to turn on the heater tonight. Like I mentioned before, cold front! Supposed to get down into the 30s. I don't know what you're doing, dog, but you're on my foot. I got bad toes. Right now, you can't be on the feet. Oh well. Dogs, what are you gonna do? It's more comfort. As long as you don't get bit by the rattlesnake, we're good. Okay? See rattlesnake? Run off. Have your flight response come in, not your fight. Because you will lose. You may kill the rattlesnake, but you're gonna die in the aftermath from any venom that they got into you. Not to mention the larger specimens may be large enough to eat you, but I'm not totally sure. Large enough to eat the cat. So I hope the cat's... I'm pretty sure at least he's still away from that. Don't want her to get bit or eaten by any snakes or anything like that. She's pretty smart. She killed snakes in the past. She ate a coral snake. And I'm not sure if it was a venomous kind. But. Either way, she ate one of those. She's a crazy cat. I'll have to admit, she's a crazy cat. But then again, when you have 17 fucking kids, you're gonna go crazy. People go tend to go crazy after four. This cat had 17. She went nuts. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, she's responsible for... Her. 17 other cats to be alive and out there. All but two have homes away from us. Um, the other two are probably just going to end up keeping anyway because they're just too cute to give up. My gosh. The most cuddly ones that, that you ever had. One of them has a little white mustache on his like black face. It's so fucking cute. The other one legit lo looks like a cow, like spots of a cow, which is so nice. <sighs> but hey, she knows what she's doing. She's not getting... And, yeah, getting her fixed soon, so... 17 is his most cat you know. And sadly, one of her... Kids did die from complications of giving birth. All the kittens died beforehand, too, so... It wasn't good on her behalf. Sad. That's another reason you should get your animals fixed. There's a chance that they might die during birth. So to avoid that chance, make it where they don't have to deal with pregnancy. That's good logic.
That's nice sound logic, isn't it? Did you bet animals? Yeah. Actually, that's the best sound logic no matter how you put it. I'm not sure how much left is on the storm. I have no way to check radar. So if anyone's asking that, it's pointless kill. Ooh, nice. The, the string I'm up against is rubber. Not sure if that's going to help me out with any possible lightning, but... I don't know. I had my eyes closed. Bastard. Yeah. Not to mention, under enhanced risk for... Uh, I want to say it's light to enhanced risk for severe weather. So, I want to be surprised if this gets severe. Kind of surprised it hasn't yet. And since it's a cold front, shouldn't be much longer. 16 minutes in. I'm gonna lean up against the metal gate. That's fun. Should be fine. Yeah, as long as I don't get shocked by lightning, this phone is good because I'm gonna drop it in the damn water on top of it being fried. Yeah, dealing with a little bit of flooding down south. I could actually show you. Yeah, a little bit of water down there. Not necessary flooding, but something. It's enough to fry your phone. Let's just say that. But some sort of internet thing, but if it comes to new phones, prepare for a wave of test videos. I'll try to knock it down with two test videos, but there may be three or four other test videos. Um, with that. Um. Just gotta test out the new phones, like capability, screen overlay, audio, visual, with that, and then the screen recorders and stuff. And if I get headphones, gotta test those out too. See if they affect mic and stuff. So, right there, if I'm gonna do each test individually, that's gonna be like 10 videos right there. But I could do one video with the phone camera itself, and then the others I could do total. All in one video. That's be about a minute long. But be testing new phone camera, testing the recorder on new phone, along with a few other features that I will mention through the video or some shit like that. Which I won't put that all in the title. Not enough characters to do so. There's only a limit of a hundred. That there's probably a hundred five. Uh, well, now for the sound of rain, which will probably cause a good chunk of you guys to want to use the bathroom. It's messing with my bladder, I can tell you that much. Why is it when I'm always looking away from you, you do some lightning? Uh, at least it's on the camera, hopefully. It's kind of late, and I'm just getting tired right now. I don't know what time is it. What time is it? Give me time. 11.01 p.m. Central Daylight Time. In case you're wondering, time zones. But yeah. The Reed Timmer photo, well, book photo, um, will be as a add-on at the end of this video, or depending on if I could combine them all, it'll be at the end of all of them. So, yeah. As one big video. That's gonna take forever to upload. No biggie in that. Barely saw that lightning over there. You know it's really pouring down rain when it blocks the view of lightning. Like the bolt was faded. Because how much rain it would have had to gone through. 
Now that's why thunder snow is rarely documented. It's rarely documented, even in today's age. Because the snow blocks the view of it all. It has to be like right on your ass to even see it. Or hear it. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, tomorrow, expect this to be on YouTube tomorrow. Well, you know what I mean, it'll be on YouTube Monday, it'll be on YouTube when you see this. When you see this, it's on YouTube. That's how it's gonna be. I don't know why I'm saying this will be on YouTube tomorrow, when that, does, that won't really apply to you guys, because you guys won't know about this stuff until it's on YouTube. But yeah. Um, storms happen today. It'll be up on YouTube Monday. Sometime Monday. It'll take forever for it to upload. That part is all I know. Um, but, but this ends up being over like a 32 minute mark and it forces me to do two different parts. It'll be at the Reed Timmer proof stuff would be at the end of the second video. If that's the case. As we're already 21 minutes in, and I have 8 minutes, uh, about another 10 minutes of footage to add on to that. So that's going to be, yeah, about 8 to 10 minutes of footage. That would be about the 30, 32 minute mark. So I do expect two parts, one with that. Hell, might just be a video on the phone camera. Proof on that, and I'll just have that be its own video. But, no, nah, that'll be at the tag. Ooh. Not really able to see bolts because of dying rain. And also it's above and in the cloud. Yeah, I'll have to time. I'm tempted to take videos of some of the fog because it's like... That fog that's like on the ground. Just on the ground. You can see the stars above it. Never seen that type of fog before. Come down here. So, it's the kind of fog that you would see on, like, water. Like, a lake or pond. Very patchy, too. Like, it, these fog clouds are gonna be the size of a fucking trailer. It's like, what the hell? Very small. Eh, another car coming by. You get to see some headlights. I don't know why I'm pouring the headlights directly, but uh, there's been a lot of fishy stuff going on in this town lately. Quickie shop place got robbed again. Not really trying to go into detail on locations or anything like that. But everyone's thinking it's, a, it's an inside job. And it stopped after they finally got cameras. So that's a good. They finally got cameras and it stopped. See how much cameras help? Put cameras everywhere. No one's gonna rob shit. Except the ones that do for the thrill. Those are the ones you have to just take out. So, well, when they act on it, just, yeah. That three strike, you're out for life or something like that. I don't know. Like, yeah, you're gonna pay the price for the first two robberies. But if you're gonna do it the third time, you're out for life because you just cannot be trusted. That's how I see it. Ooh. That's just a bit of a yawn. This is getting late, but the storm is nowhere near done. It's a big blop, I feel. There's still lightning to the west. Believe it or not. Twenty-five minutes in, I might pass out. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, when I get in, I'm 
I'm asleep. First thing I'm doing is sleeping. I'll get the Reed Timmer stuff done tomorrow. It would likely won't be in the title either, but... Those who watch all the way through, you'll get that hidden gem. Okay, that's nice. I have some more lightning down that way, and I think food mean it. And I no longer hear the rattlesnake. That one sound like some freaking aluminum, like those aluminum sheet things, a spell, and it's like, what the hell? But, that was a weird sounding thunder. Never heard it sound like that. But, yeah. Like I said, storm hits, snakes take shelter. That's how they are. So, looks like me not have to worry about the rattlesnake. But, for safety reasons, I'm going to go into the house, so I'm not going to go around. And I advise you dogs to stay up here tonight. I mean... Rattlesnakes are nocturnal to begin with, to my knowledge. The how well when they're active is based on what their what their pupils are. Um, not the shape of their pupils is determined on how if they're more active during day or night. That doesn't determine whether or not they're venomous. <coughs> It's if you see juices leaking out of their things, but no, that's not it either. Um, I know curl snakes, there's a rule with that, like a certain pattern is venomous and another pattern isn't. I forget the one, I'm not sure if the yellow is supposed to touch black or supposed to touch red for venom or not supposed to touch that for non-venom. Um, or just the whatever. But I know it's something to do with the, the coloring yellow and one of the other two colors. Like if yellow is surrounded by red, you're dead. Black, you're safe. Uh, or it's like yellow, tu yellow touches black, you can relax. Or, or black and yellow, they're mellow. Yellow and red, you're dead. I don't know. It's something like that. I'm pretty sure the ones that are mellow don't really act me mellow. They just do what the venom ones, ones do, so they less likely have to tangle with predators. Only thing is with humans, if you attack us, we're gonna fuck you up. Fuck that shit. Not, we don't care if you intend to be a prey. If you see us as predator or prey, we're gonna fuck you up. Or we're gonna take off. One of the two. Ooh, that was nice. Not sure if I got it on camera, but it was like the whole thing. Like, that's why 360 camera on the roof would be so helpful. <clears throat> Let's be honest. I get the funds. I'm putting that on the roof. Uh, of course, I'm going to do some other things to keep it all charged up and stuff. Um, but I'll have the footage sent to phone whenever the storms hit, and I'll have that uploaded for you guys. That'll be a nice gem for you. Seems like the rain part is stopped for the most part. Um, thunder and lightning is mostly to the east and the north, the northeast area. So it's been still very fucking close. So I'm still gonna record. Um, 30 minutes in. Yeah, this is gonna be two parts, three parts, something like that. I don't honestly don't care. Retimer will be at the end of this one. Well. 
three Timmer book. Um, and those guys that want to be like, I want to authenticate everything. You can do so. I don't care. But, yeah. Okay. But I'm thinking if the, the, the fact it's a library book that was a signed copy, I wonder if either read either, or well, I'm not trying to be all stalker like, but wonder if you ever ran into that library, or well, the person who had the library book at the time ran into him and got signed and turned it back to the library, or someone donated a signed copy to the library. One of the few scenarios. I mean, this is southeast Kansas, so this would be around his domain with the storms and whatnot, even though it goes worldwide for stuff. Like, ooh, Typhoon Hagabis going to Japan. Or, I'm honestly surprised he was in Colorado for Nestor, but hey. Or, no, I'm not sure if he was in Colorado for Nestor, but I'm not sure. Nah, that was a retweet. Um, not trying to be all weird, but hey. I have to say, he's the one that kind of inspired me to go into the storm chasing route. So... Yeah, I mean, screw office work when you can have fun in the field. Screw the office. I hate the confinements of a building half the time. Honestly, I could see why some of the people in Seattle have, like volunteer to be homeless, to deal with drug stuff or something like that. Because the confinements of being inside of a building can be kind of limiting at times. Being outside in nature is what I like to do. Only thing is my nose doesn't agree with that. That's the only issue. Is I want to be out here in nature at all times. M my nose doesn't. My nose is like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Call me when you get back in the fucking building. That's who I am. I like to be outside to just relax and stuff, just hang outside if I can.